Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shubham Vidayu, again here with another informative video related to the electronics, MATLAB and the multi-sim simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the center tape full wave rectifier on the MATLAB and the multi-sim software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the center tape full wave rectifier. So, rectification is the process of conversion the AC signal into the pulsating DC signal. In full wave rectification, the current flows through the load in the same direction for both half cycles of the input AC supply voltage. Thus, a full wave rectifier utilizes the both half cycles of the AC input voltage to produce the DC output voltage. A center tape full wave circuit employs the two diodes the D1 and the D2. A center tape secondary winding AB is used with the diodes connected so that each uses the half cycles of the AC input voltage. During the positive half cycle of the AC input secondary voltage, the diode D1 is forward bias and D2 is reverse bias. Therefore, the D1 diode conducts the current while D2 diode behave like an open switch. During the negative half cycle of the AC input secondary voltage, the diode D2 is forward bias and D1 diode reverse bias. Therefore, the diode D2 conducts the current and while D1 behaves like an open switch. The current in the load is in the same direction for both half cycle of the AC input supply voltage. Therefore, the DC output voltage is obtained across the load resistor. So, dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the simulation of the center tape full wave rectifier on the MATLAB and the multi-SIM software. Dear viewers, our main task is to implement this center tape full wave rectifier circuit diagram on the MATLAB and the multi-SIM software. So this is a circuit diagram of the center tape full wave rectifier. Now the function of this transformer here in this circuit is used to provide the isolation between this power circuit and the converter circuit and also it is used to step down the level of the voltage. Okay. Now this circuit comprises or implies the two diodes the D1 and D2 as shown in figure. A center tape secondary winding A and the B is used with these diodes so that each uses the half cycle of the AC input supply voltage. Okay, in other words, this diode D1 utilizes the AC voltage appear across the upper half of the secondary winding of the transformer so that can be denoted as the OA for the rectification and while D2 diode is utilizes the lower half of the secondary winding of the transformer which is denoted as the OB. Now during the positive half cycle of the secondary uh, AC input voltage, okay. Now this end A of the secondary winding of the transformer is becomes positive and end B is becomes negative. Now in this condition the diode D1 is forward biased, okay. Now this diode D1 is forward bias while D2 is reverse bias. So therefore, the D1 conducts the current while D2 does not conduct the current or it behaves like an open switch during the positive half cycle of the AC input supply voltage. So the conventional current flow through this diode D1 to the load resistor and upper half of the secondary winding of the transformer is shown by these dotted arrows. Okay. Now during the negative half cycle of the AC input supply voltage, now this end A of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes negative and end B is becomes positive. Now during this condition, the diode D2 conducts while D1 does not conduct the current. So the conventional current flows through this diode D2 and to the load resistor and to the lower half of the secondary winding of the transformer is shown by these solid arrows. It may be seen that the current in the load, okay, so the current in this load resistor is in the same direction for the both half cycles of the AC input voltage. Therefore, DC output voltage is can be obtained across this load resistor. So, dear viewers, we have to implement this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So now go to the power library. So, the components we required for the full wave center tape rectifier. 
so we need the ac voltage source okay and uh, we need the load resistor okay we need the transformer okay and we need the display box the scope so we required the ground so assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram okay so connect this ac voltage source with the winding one of the transformer so that can be called as the primary winding okay so okay connect this ground with the negative of the ac supply voltage okay uh, and uh, we need another ground so make it this transformer as at a center tip okay so connect the ground in between these two terminals of this second rewinding of this linear transformer okay also we required the diode okay and the diode so this is a center tape full wave rectifier so we need the two diodes okay so another diode we need so make it r as a load resistor okay so we need the voltmeter okay so this voltmeter would give us the primary voltage of the transformer okay so also we need the rms block root in square value block okay so this display would give us the primary voltage of the transformer okay connect these uh, both diode with the secondary winding of the transformer okay and we need another ground now connect this load with the both diodes okay now this is the oscilloscope so make it two number of the ports number of ports is two okay we need another voltmeter now this voltmeter would give us the rectify dc voltage after the full wave center tape transformer rectification okay now this second port of the oscilloscope would give us the rectify dc voltage okay and the first port of this oscilloscope would give us the ac supply input voltage okay which is given to this full wave center tape transformer rectifier circuit okay so we have implemented this circuit diagram on the matlab software so now change the parameters of the circuit diagram so a parent power here the transformer 5e power 3 and frequency 50 hertz winding 1 440 volts winding to 220 now copy the same winding two parameters and winding three parameters are the same 
apply okay and uh, 440 volts we are given 50 hertz frequency and make it the frequency of the rms block is 50 hertz and change the load resistance 100 ohm is the load resistance okay so now our circuit is ready for the simulation run the simulation observe the results of the waveforms through oscilloscope so now you can see so this yellow waveform is the sinusoidal input waveform okay ac voltage waveform okay so now during the positive off cycle of the ac input supply voltage okay so diode d1 is forward biased okay and d2 in this positive off cycle of the ac supply voltage is reverse bias and during this negative off cycle of the ac supply voltage now the diode d2 is the forward bias and d1 is reverse bias in this condition so uh, at the end so dc output voltage is obtained across this uh, load resistor uh, in the center tape full wave transformer rectification so dear viewers this was the full wave center tape transformer rectification that we have done on the matlab software so implement this center tape full wave Rectifier circuit diagram on the multi-sim software. Go to the multi-sim. We need AC voltage source. Okay. Mm, we need the ground. We need the transformer. Okay. So a TS power 10 to 1. Okay. And then we need the resistor, load resistor okay also we need the diode okay so this is a center tape full wave rectifier circuit so we need another diode okay so now assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram connect this ac voltage source with the winding one of the transformer so that can be called as the primary winding okay so connect this ground with the negative of the ac voltage source okay so now make it transformer secondary winding as a center tape now connect the ground okay now if you want to measure the voltage across the primary winding of the transformer so connect the voltmeter in parallel across the primary winding of the transformer so this voltmeter would give us the primary side voltage which is the input voltage given to this transformer make it ac okay now connect the both diodes with the secondary winding of the transformer okay so now connect the load resistor after the diodes and also we need the ground okay so we need the oscilloscope okay there are the two channels of this oscilloscope channel a and the channel b so now connect the channel a of the oscilloscope before the diodes so this would give us the uh, input sinusoidal waveform okay and connect the channel B of the oscilloscope after the diodes. Uh, so this channel B would give us the DC output uh, voltage which is the rectified DC voltage. So now change the color of the B channel. Make it yellow. So the output DC voltage waveform across this load resistor can be easily observed with the help of this oscilloscope. So now change the parameters of the circuit diagram. Make it frequency 50 Hertz. Okay. And make it the load resistance 100 Ohm. Okay. So now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Now run the simulation and observe the results of the center tape full wave rectifier circuit.
This red waveform is the AC sinusoidal waveform, which is the input waveform, and this yellow waveform is the rectified DC output voltage waveform. Now, during the positive off cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the diode D1 is forward bias and conducts the current. And while the D2 in this positive off cycle of the AC's input supply voltage is reverse bias and conduct no current. And when the negative off cycle of the AC supply voltage is occur, now in this condition, the diode D2 is forward bias and it conducts the current while D2 diode in this negative off cycle of the AC input supply voltage is reverse bias and conduct the no current. So dear viewers, this was the simulation of the center tape full wave rectifier circuit that we have done on the multi-sim software. Dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the center tape full wave rectifier that we have done on the MATLAB and the multi-sim software in which we have observed the results of the input and output waveforms using oscilloscope before and after the center tape full wave rectification. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last do subscribe my YouTube channel Shobhi Madhav for more informative videos related to the electronics and the electrical engineering area. Thank you.